Hi guys, I'm uh, having to use the old camera because my Panasonic is in bits down there somewhere because it decided to uh, die on me this morning so I am watching one on the eBay that I plan to get so it's got a couple of days left on it though that kind of ticks me off because I can't use the one I've got for Christmas either because the batteries aren't charged. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could sort out one of my VHS ones but I've um, got one in there that I need to charge. That might be better using one of them. It might take me a bit longer to uh, get them to a PC but I don't know how good the batteries are and in this camera at the moment. But uh, I've been working on this old thing today. I've got the wheels in. Yes, uh, it was dropped off this morning. So I left it in the car Thursday because it was pissing it down. I've got to pop across to Lidl's and get some food for him. But uh, it does appear to be working. Well, the gears seem to work, the brakes are all working. Uh, the rear light is working, front one isn't, but I haven't uh, done any troubleshooting for that yet. The, I had this light on the back, on the mudguard, I've put one of those old style reflectors on it, because uh, it was only got a bulb in it and uh, the wire wasn't even connected, so I've just cut the wire off and uh, it's just connected down here. So it's got the original dynamo bracket on here. Um, not an original. I've got a feeling that's probably the original rear light. I'm not so sure the front is because that's a union that goes with that. I need my um, meters. I'd be better off with the crocodile lead, so I'll use this one. Oh, it's been ages since I've used this. Oh yeah. I forgot. I've got no zoom on this. <laughs> it's another Panasonic camera I'm watching. Start and bid £25. No bids yet and a couple of days left. Postage is a bit steep, but <sighs> can't remember what the postage is. Eight pounds something. But uh, yeah, we'll get it. We'll try and get it anyway. I've got to go to Liddles to get your grub because I've been been there once and completely forgot. <sighs> Right. Or I may not bother, and like I said, I might just get one of my VHS ones done. I've got my Panasonics here. Um, no battery, but I could invest in a battery. It'd be cheaper to invest in a battery for this. Oops. Uh, I should have a tape for it. But like I said, it just means it would take longer to upload them, because I would have to use my machine down there in order to do so. Which isn't a problem, it gives me an excuse to use it, will not it? Well, this one's got a tape in, but I don't know if I've got the correct adapter for it. I mean, um, my Panasonic in here seems to work. It's rated 7.5 volts, but I had a 5 volt adapter plugged into it, and uh, it seems to work. I think it's a 5 volt adapter anyway. Wait a Have I thought wrong all this time? 5.4 volt. Near enough 5 volts. 
That was operating perfectly fine. Kept wanting me to hit the reset button for some reason, but I got that one under there. But yeah, I think uh, I've got a few options. Um, for now, I'll just have to use this one. I've got the batteries on the charge. I've got a couple of Duracells in this at the moment. Uh, I'll get the triple A's on charge for the red one. So until the right charger and everything comes through for this one, because it works, there's no reason why it can't. Video quality is um, okay. It's not digital, but it's okay. And you know, I can transfer it over. Fine, and it kept saying about USB ports on here, and I actually found them eventually. There's this little cover here. <laughs> so, yeah, it can be used as a webcam, apparently. Right. <laughs> um, what's this camera going to be like if I have that up here? That would go somewhere like that. You can see my bare belly. Actually, that might work better up here, so I could use this one for this job. Not a bad option either. Yeah, I didn't think the batteries were going to last long, so... What can you do? Things don't last forever. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to troubleshoot and try and get this front light working. Tires are pumped up. There's actually... No bar in here. It's all, it's all come off. It's just cut the slots under here. It doesn't bother me. The mud guard's still on there. It hasn't affected the um, strength of the frame. It's just there as a bracket, I think. I had to tighten the bearings up in here. I had to tighten the um, cotter pin up on the other side because that was all loose. Uh, So yeah, I've just got to sort this front light out. I don't know why it's not working. It's connect... Yeah, dude. Because it's not wired up. <laughs> That's why it's not working. So the wire's broken. And that goes down inside the frame. Tit. Uh, so I'm guessing that wire's not wired. That's broken off there, hasn't it? Okay, well I've got to troubleshoot that. What I've got to do is rewire it. And I could just run the cable down to this point, put a new connection on there, because that thing goes up the frame. So it goes in the frame. Um, there's nothing up there for me to um, see pull the wire back through. Make me wonder how the fuck they got the wire in there in the first place. <laughs> So obviously this was actually factory built with the lights, and uh, as that was mounted on the mudguard, it obviously came with a light on the mudguard of some sort originally. Uh, well that explains why it's not working. Well that's an easy enough fix then, that means I don't need my meter. I think I will pull the wire out of the frame though if I can, because... Uh, I bet they put the wire in before they bolted the bottom bracket together, but that's how they did it. Gears, like I said, the gears seem to work. I'll tell you, my battery's dying on this, so I'm going to make this a really short video. Um, I'm going to see if I can set up that Panasonic at some point. Just to see if it's usable. Um... That won't be tomorrow, because I'm busy tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. And that translates to, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again as soon as I can. Bye.